Oh, I think I'm going to go live on Twitch. This way, everyone on my following will know that I am going live and I'm totally not going to be clogging up their feed. Yes, yes. What value does I'm going live bring to your Twitter feed? And also too, if you don't tweet enough on Twitter, your entire feed is just going to turn into I'm going live, I'm going live, I'm going live, I'm going live. I've seen so many people fall to this trap. You have to treat Twitter like its own content creation platform. It's okay to sometimes promote your other stuff on other platforms, but you can't make that your only thing or else what's the point of people following you on Twitter? Luckily for you, I have a really great solution for you. I was browsing Twitter and I noticed that some people had their name changed to like the little red dot and then said like, I'm going and like live on whatever. And I was like, that sounds like a lot of work. But then that got me thinking, is there some way to automate this? So the first thing I did was I went onto Google and YouTube to see if I could find a tutorial on how to do it. And there are tons of tutorials. However, a lot of them rely on these sketchy third party sites. Um, I'm calling it sketchy because a lot of them are sites that I've never heard of or half the tutorials I found from like within the last year were linking websites that don't exist. And I don't know about you, but that doesn't make me feel too good of knowing that if I signed up for one of these services that no longer exist, what happened to my Twitter login information? These services and sites have to have access to not only your Twitch account, but also your Twitter account. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily show people on your Twitter that you're live without clogging things up and without using any third party sketchy software. As a before we really get into it, one of the pretexts I'll say is you will need a stream deck. Yes, stream decks are a little bit expensive. They can start at under one hundred dollars and can go over three hundred dollars. The key thing is that all of the stream decks no matter how many buttons they have, they have the same functionality because you have the ability to add unlimited number of pages and nested folders. Um, as most other streamers will say that have had gotten a stream deck, it's a huge quality of life improvement and you can also use it for other things other than streaming. I really do recommend most people think about getting a stream deck. To get this started, once you're in your stream deck menu what you're going to do is you're going to go to the gear icon and then you're going to go to accounts and then here is where you're going to be adding your twitch account and your twitter account make sure that you add both of them and authorize use um, and for those of you who are thinking like wait what, what what is stream deck stream deck is an elgato product which is owned by corsair so there's some credence there next we're going to be making something called a multi-action so what a multi-action is is when, with a single button press you can actually tell the stream deck to do multiple actions and you can set delays and a whole bunch of other stuff but for today we're just going to do something super simple and then now because we have our twitter account linked we're going to go down to the Twitter and we're going to look for the command that is change name. And we're going to drag that over and then we're just going to change it to, I don't know, let's say like something classy, like red dot live now on Twitch and then your regular name, just like that. So now every time that you go live on Twitch, it'll automatically change your name on Twitter for you. So that means if anyone just happens to be perusing your Twitter profile, your name will appear as live now on Twitch with a nice fancy little red dot. So we're gonna look over on the OBS tab. You're gonna look over to the OBS actions and then you're gonna look for the start stream button. And we're gonna go like here and we're gonna make a start stream button, just like that. And to make it so that it automatically changes back when we're finished streaming, all you have to do, just repeat the process, but in reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the start stream button that we just created and we're going to copy it. And then now we're going to paste it as a new button. Now we're going to go into the multi action and we're going to edit what it does. Um, we're going to make it so that now instead of starting the stream, it's going to be ending the stream. And now we're going to go to the change name for Twitter. We're going to just get rid of the red dot and live now on Twitch. So now when you start your stream, it'll automatically change your name on Twitter. And then when you end your stream, it'll change your name back to normal. 
Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about VTubing, you can either join the Discord, which will be linked below, or you can check out r slash Fofamit, a brand new Reddit thread where I'm gonna be doing an AMA video um, with the questions that are posted there. And also thanks again to my patrons on Patreon. Without your support, I would not be able to do videos like this. So thank you so much.